In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 11 on Proxbox. So, in Proxmox, Windows 10 installation is pretty straightforward. But for Windows 11, they have added some extra security features like TPM and UEFI, stuff like that. So, what you have to do, first of all, go to Microsoft and download Windows 11 from their official website. And then, the extra thing you're going to need is Word I.O. drivers, and you can download uh, those from this link and I'll put this link in the description of this video Okay, so first of all go to your local Disk and upload the ISO images by clicking on upload or you can just put in the URL and you can directly download so I already have Windows 11 and Word IO uh, Uploaded through the system. So I'm just going to create a new virtual machine and then I'm just going to set the number to 201 and I will name it Windows 11. And then here I'll need to select the operating system. I'll select Windows 11 here and make sure you choose the type should be Microsoft Windows and choose the latest one, which is for Windows 11 or Windows Server 2022 to 2025. And then going to click on add additional drive for Word IO, and then make sure you choose the ISO image for this one, like this, and then click on next. In the next section, make sure your machine is set to Q35, not the default one. And then controller should be word IO because it's single. And then the next thing is going to be the BIOS. You have to make sure it's selected on UEFI, which is OVMF. Otherwise, by default, it's selected to C BIOS, but we need this one. And then you're going to need uh, the TPM storage. So make sure to select the same one what you're going to choose for your system. So I'm going to choose crucial one disk and then version 2.0 which is required and then the disk storage for EFI. I'm going to choose the same one, the crucial one and then click next and I think everything what we need is selected and then here we will choose the disk we're going to use and from Microsoft it is recommended to use 64 but you can use more. In some of the videos I have seen people are using like less than 64 gigs but I recommend use more the more is better and then for the bus device use word IO block and cache just leave it default and for this one make sure it's selected on chemo image format not the raw or VMDK and then click next and I'm going to Let's say five cores and two sockets should be good, but we can increase if we want to. So let's do it 10. So I'll make it 20 and then type it should be host. You can leave it default, but I recommend choosing host and then click next. And then the memory you want to assign. For me, I want to assign 32 gigs. And then network, make sure you choose the correct network. And then model should be word IO, which is already selected. If you see, it's going to show you multiple options like Realtek, Intel 8000. But we are going to choose word IO. And then click next. And make sure you have everything correct here. There should be two disk drives, one for word IO for drivers and one for Windows 11. And I think I choose Windows 11 on both sides. So I'm just going to go back and select Word IO. That was a mistake. So Windows 11 and Word IO. And then let's check it out again. Now it's perfectly fine. And we're going to click on Start after created and click on Finish. Once it's created, it's started, we will start the installation process. So currently it's in the process. All right, it's 
started and it's running boot from disk yes i guess i hit the key but let's see so when it shows this proxmox logo that means you are using uefi so i can guess from the loading sign that it's loading windows 11 all right so here you can see uh, we are in windows 11 setup so language to install you can choose according to your country and language i'm just going to click on next and then choose a keyboard i'll click on next and then select option definitely we're going to install it and you have to make sure that i agree everything will be deleted including files everything on the disk and once you check this you will see the next button appears to be clickable otherwise it won't be clickable and then click on next and then it's going to ask you for the product key so you have to buy the license from microsoft if you don't have a license key for now and you want to do it later just click on i don't have the product key and it will let you go ahead and choose other options and on the next page you will see select image you want to install so when you purchase the key from microsoft you will need to select for what operating system what version you want to buy the key and you need to select the same operating system otherwise you will need to reinstall it so i'm just going with windows 11 pro and then i'm going to hit next all right and then after that you need to agree for the license and if you want to read it it's up to you but normally i just do accept all right so here is the problem now we cannot see the disk because this iso does not have the drivers for windows 11 so that's why we loaded the word io image so i'm going to click on load drivers and then i'm going to click on browse and here you can see the first one is for word io and then i'm going to choose the drivers for windows 11. okay so click on amd64 and then select windows 11 and click on ok and then click on this one and click on install then it will again start searching for the disk now you can see we are able to see the disk and then we are going to load another driver which is going to be for the networks click on browse again and on the same disk word io and then find for net kvm and then windows 11 and then click ok sorry you have to choose amd64 and then click on ok and it will find the right drivers for you and you can see it says ethernet adapter for networking and then click on next all right so now we are going to install windows 11 i'm gonna just click on the disk and then click next and i will let this guy create partition for me okay so now it's saying ready to install windows 11 pro and i'm going to click next and then it will start the installation process which will normally take five to ten minutes so i'm just going to pause the video recording all right windows has been installed and has been rebooted just one time it's loading and i think it should show me the out of the box experience page no it's still installing so i'm just going to pause this video again all right it's rebooted one more time and it's showing me just a moment page there we go okay so uh, i just wanted to show you one more thing i know the windows is installed now it's just the initial setup your account setup and stuff like that so previously when i installed this on my virtual machine i was able to go through all of this setup and everything and on the network part i was stuck because it was not showing me a network and because there was no network drivers so i just want to show you that page as well because uh, when we were installing we choose two drivers one for the disk another one for the network so it should be able to find the network as it was able to install the driver perfectly fine 
All right, so uh, it shows me that it's doing some kind of updates. So that's a sign of having a network because if it doesn't have network, then it's going to show me some kind of error and won't be able to communicate with the server. So it's just updating. That means the network is fine. All right, we are back after reboot. So I'm just going to name this device. So let's just say Windows 11. I don't know why they make Windows 11 so creepy. It rebooted like almost 300,000 times. Windows 10 is so easy to install. No stupid stuff, no stupid reboots. And this one is like crazy, bro. And the final process is going to be the update progress. It's going to take like sometimes can take more than 30 minutes. So just go and do whatever you want and come back after 30 minutes to check. All right, it took exactly 26 minutes to update and do all the stuff. And then here we'll need to log in into the Microsoft account. All right, once you put in your username and password, it will load you to the next screen. And we're almost done. Just a few more clicks and we're good to go. And Windows 11 is installed. All right, so here you can see Windows 11 is installed and it's a brand new fresh look and you can see our network is up as well. So that's how you install Windows 11 on Proxmox. It's a bit lengthier than installing Windows 10. And if you have any kind of questions, you can comment below. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.